Do you need a high-speed memory card? The short answer is maybe, but mostly yes. In this video, we'll take a look at the difference between a slow and fast SD card for your Pentax camera. There are a few different types of SD card standards, the most common being SDHC, which stands for Secure Digital High Capacity. This is the next step up from standard SD cards, which have a limit of 2 gigabytes. You also have SDXC, Secure Digital Extended Capacity, which allows for even higher capacities as the name implies. On top of that, there are some SDHC and SDXC cards classified as UHS, which stands for Ultra High Speed and allows for even faster read-write times. Most Pentax cameras cannot take advantage of UHS memory cards, but then again, the level of speed they offer over regular high-speed memory cards is not as noticeable due to current hardware limitations. Memory card class ratings reflect their minimum sustained write speed. For example, a class 4 memory card has a minimum sustained write speed of 4 megabytes per second, and a class 10 a minimum of 10 megabytes per second. Using this system, it's easy to guess that a class 10 memory card is faster than a class 4 memory card. All UHS memory cards are a minimum class 10, but do not always use this number system as their minimum sustained write speeds can be higher and thus are labeled accordingly. For this example, however, we'll keep it simple and only demonstrate the difference between a regular class 2 SD card and a faster class 10 SD card. Here we have two identical cameras. They're both set to the same wireless shutter, so they'll fire at the same exact moment. On the left, we have a class 2 SD card. And on the right, we have a class 10 SD card. We can see the right time by the orange lamp on the back of each camera. First, let's just take one picture. As you can see, the camera on the right with the class 10 card is slightly faster. Not a big deal for one shot, but the delay on the slower card can add up. Let's see what happens in burst mode. Now the difference really shows here. As you can see, the camera with the class 10 finished writing much faster than the class 2 card. Why does this matter? Well, it doesn't really if you only take a single shot at a time for landscape or other single shot applications. But let's say you're at a sporting event where you need burst mode. This is where the faster card really makes all the difference. The sooner the memory card clears the memory buffer, the sooner it can take more shots in burst mode, and the longer the burst mode can be. Keep in mind, the SD card I used is a standard class SD card. There are faster cards out there. It's best to compare online reviews for any memory card you buy to make sure you're getting the best deal and best speed possible. Bottom line, do you need a faster memory card? Not if you only take single shots and prefer to take your time. However, even older cameras with small buffers will feel faster with a fast memory card. It's always best to buy the largest and fastest memory card you can justify. They're a great investment, and they tend to stay with you longer than your camera does. Please feel free to visit Pentax Forms at any time for more tips and tricks.